I'll repeat again front view, top view, and, and it's a section view, and this is what a side view. Okay? Now, in front view, you are getting three arcs here one, two, three. That means the part is often visible here, clearly visible, and you got some uh, holes here. How many holes? Eight holes by four through distance they have given distance they have given 135 okay next they have given cross section dimensions here okay at section aa if you consider section aa here it is how much 57.5 and 42 okay? and if you consider extreme end extreme end is how much 72.5 and 52.5 now thing is that you can uh, model this one entire model this one entire using a multi-section model you can model this component using multi-section solid okay or you can go for combination of futures you can go for combination of futures so let us look out here what i'll do as it has some uh, lines now this portion is a hollow because there is no any line here that means you need to remove this portion okay you need to remove this portion one important thing in this diagram you just look out here thickness of your component is of 3 mm if you check out everywhere the thickness has to be 3 mm but for this flange you look out it is of a 4 mm supporting flange is of a 4 mm where you need to place four holes here one two three four holes on this side also one two three four holes okay now i'll go for first just i want to split uh, this feature in a different uh, components what i'll treat i'll treat this as a first semi cylinder I will make a model of first semi-cylinder. How you will get? You will get semi-cylinder. Okay. You will get semi-cylinder. Okay. Next, I will go for some uh, multi-section solids here. I will draw one guide. Then I will draw here. Okay. I will draw the sections here, different sections. Then I can use multi-section solids to make this uh, entire profile. Once you make the entire profile, then you go for using shell option. You go for using shell option. Where you need to get, where it is a 3 mm. Before shell, you clarify, you must take a care or you must clarify whether the component has a fillets. Now in this case, you look out, it has a fillet of 16.5 mm on all four corners. Here at the intersection of junctions, uh, this is junction and this section, it has a fillet radius of 35. It has a fillet, fillet radius of 35. Now I am going to split in this uh, component in a different features. Okay. Let us uh, try modeling. Do you have any confusion in this uh, diagram? You can unmute and ask. Or shall I go for uh, modeling? Otherwise, you place in a chart. Shall I go for modeling? Am I audible or not? Yes, sir. Okay. Shall I go for modeling? Yes, sir. Okay. So the width, the end width of the rectangle, how much? Is it? So end width of rectangle here. I will place one more again with a different class. Now this is what one end width. Okay. Now dimensions are related here. Okay. 72.5, 52.5. So we have one more cross section. This is what section AA. Section A dimensions are here. 42. Uh, now if you look out now. For up to this portion, so there is no any change. It is only they are straight, not a change. But here they have diverted. 
instead of straight they have diverted right okay so i'll go for modeling okay so now already I have done i will repeat again okay so along with this modeling today we are going to learn one more command uh, that is what one more option that is a rib you can carry out this model either using multi section models or you can go for the combination of multi section models as well as uh, the ribs okay Okay, now we'll go for first sketch. I will select a uh, YZ plane, that is what a front plane. Now, if you look over the dimensions here, now the maximum radius is 60 here for this semicircular shape. Okay. What I'll do, I'll go for a circle of radius 60. Now, I'll take a line. Now we'll trim out. Okay. I will exit. Now look out the width, how much it is. So the base width is here. It is 80 mm. Base width is 80 mm. From this edge to this edge, it has 80 mm. Now let us go for pack. So we'll go for mirror extent. On one side it is a 40 mm. Okay. We got it. Now what is the next portion? So now we got a solid. We will remove material afterwards. Now we got a solid. Now. So what I will do? I will go for modeling of this portion only now. By using a rib option. So, rib is uh, just like a projection along a guide way. Multi section models are in Marthidri, multi sections are in Sali, very, very sections are drawn Marthidri. But a rib is in one section, it is in a new, and in a way, we can see the protrude mark. So, now we have just one side by Thoros. Now we will go for a sketch. I will exit here. Okay. Now I will go for a front plane. So parallel through point. Now reference is this plane. Okay. And point is this one. Now I will go for a sketch. Now just observe how we can make the rib here. Otherwise, just go for rectangle. I can understand. Now, this is what rib. Okay, I'll click here. First, you need to select the profile. Profile is this one. Okay, next, you need to select the center curve. This one. Now, the cross section remains the same throughout the curve. Cross sections remains the same throughout the curve. I think you got an idea. Now, 
coming to this model what i'll do i'll draw an curve uh, which is a radius of 100 mm here which is a radius of 100 mm so one of its quadrant point is merged with the the quadrant point of uh, earlier semi circular uh, model okay. now I'll go for sketch select here again front plane circle we just draw here now select dimensions now this has to be 200 okay then select this edge and this circle so for constraints make as a tangency now from this quadrant point quadrant point to just draw one line here okay. then you can drop one more line and here one more line now trim okay. now you can erase these two lines Now position for this uh, end point they have given it is 81.5 mm from center point 81.5 mm from center point now look out 81.5 mm from center point major dimensions This has to be 81.5. Okay. Now, the constraints again. Right, hundred, hundred. Now I'll exit. Now what do you got? You got a path now. Now at the end of this point, you need to draw the section. Let us go for again reference plane. Select parallel through point uh, point option. Uh, reference is uh, ZX plane. Point is this one. Then say okay. Now select sketcher, select this uh, created plane. Now go for dimensions now. What are the dimensions here? It has to be 57.5 mm, it is a width, 42 mm its depth. Now here it has to make a connection, connection has to make has to made on this uh, top guide or top surfaces what you drawn earlier now. This is what uh, 57.5 is a 57.5 divided by 2. Okay. This is 57 point 57.5. Next, the depth is 42. Depth is 42. Now you must take care, it has to be distance of 100 mm from base. Okay. Now you exit. Okay. 
now what i'll do i'll go for rib here first you select profile now this is a profile okay next you select car preview say okay Now you got. Oh. So what is the next step? Next, you need to create a one more portion, which is of uh, dimension seventy two point five and fifty seven point five. Now for this one, I'll go for multi section models. Okay, now we'll go for a creation of a plane. Plane. Now I'll go for offset with this one. We check out dimensions, reverse direction. What is the distance here? Distance is fifty-seven. Okay. I'll go for now sketch. I will select this plane. Now we need to draw a rectangle here. What is the rectangle? Seventy-two point five as a width, fifty-two point five as a depth. Now we'll go for first constraining here. It is to be seventy two point five. No exit. Now we got a profile. Now, as the sketch is hidden, I will just right click. I will make it as a show. You got a two rectangles here. Now we'll go for a multi section solid here. I'll select this my first profile, and this my second profile. Now observe closing point here, closing point here. The direction is on downward direction, downward direction. You can say preview, then say. Now you got purely solid. Now you got purely solid. Now, what I'll do? We'll go for fillet now. Quickly, we'll go for fillet. So now this portion. And uh, on another side portion has to be of how much? It is thirty-five mm. Okay, thirty-five mm. Preview. Okay. I think the dimensions as this place. It is a thirty-five. Similarly, here fillet. Select this one. Preview. Say OK. Next, you go for fillet here. All these uh, edges. It is a sixteen point five. Preview. OK. Next. We need to go for all four corners here. That is what sixteen point five.
let us select continuously Now we got a solid part. Now we got solid part. So the next thing is that uh, you need to remove the material uh, using a cell command here. Using cell. Now you click on shell here. Okay. Now what is the thickness here? Thickness has to be 3 mm. Now I want to remove two faces. This bottom face has to remove and this face has to remove. Now material has been removed. Material has been removed. Next thing is that you need to go for a pad option here on any one side. On any one side, you can just mirror it on another side. I go for pad. Okay. I'll select a top view for sketching purpose. Now just draw a rectangle. You need to calculate the dimensions here. How much dimensions you need? Now 120 is uh, the distance. Now it has to be 75. From this quadrant point, it has to be how much? Uh, 15. It has to be 15. So now for constants, you need to go for more closer, okay? Because the high selection of edges sometimes will make a difficulty. Now this has to be what coincident. Now exit. Now what are the dimensions? Dimension has to be of uh, 4 mm. Now try to make fillet here whether you are going to get. So fillet, I think you are not given fillet. That has to be intersect. The thing is that that has to intersect. Now I have drawn only an open here. If you have a gap, you have a gap. So you have a gap, you have material to merge. So to merge this material, you just go for another 2 mm inside or 3 mm inside. Now I will create holes here. Now I will create holes. Now hole dimensions 4 mm. Okay, 4 mm. 4. Go for positioning. Go for positioning. It has to be 10 mm. They are given 10 mm. 
next from this edge to this edge now it is 7.5 okay it is what 7.5 Now it has to cut through hole, okay. Go for line or next step tunnel. A hole is created. Hole is created. Now use the pattern uh, to place uh, under four holes. I'll go for rectangular pattern here. Okay. So now select the future now instances i'll go for uh, four distance between everything is uh, four so second direction i need only one okay so now select object i'll select this hole okay now reference element this is what reference element now required direction is same we got a four holes here preview then say okay Now you can go for a mirror future option here. Mirror. Select this entire component. Now mirroring element is uh, this one. Okay. Along with that one, you need to select uh, the holes also. Okay. It's going to make a mirror on other side. We got hole here. Now you can use, uh, you can select all four holes for mirroring purpose. Okay. Or you can select only one hole, then you can go for pattern. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. It has to be entire component. You select only one hole. So what I will do, now I will go for removing the material here. So I will go for removing the material, multi section, sorry, uh, multiple pads. Shall we try this uh, mirroring of holes? I'll go for mirror. Giving error cannot be transferred. So because it has been mirrored already, in some error. I can just uh, mirror again. You can try mirror again. Let us go for removing the multi section now. Pad here, okay? multi section pocket. Now we will select uh, draw the sketch here on this surface. I am going to draw two circles here. one circle of 50 mm radius okay under circle of radius 15 exit now go for multi pocket Select this sketch. Okay. Now, how much you want to remove? So, provide dimensions here. Now, it has to cut uh, 80 mm. Let us go for more than. Now, this has to remove only 3 mm. Let us try. We'll go for first front view. How many circles you got now? How many arcs you got? 
is there for required required idava 1 2 3 now this is what i have done this has to be hidden this is wire frame model you are getting you can just look out okay so now this is a required model now to get the discontinuity here you just go for uniting using a boolean operations we we'll learn boolean operations in next class is it clear is okay angadi ha sir okay sir okay so now i'll close uh, tomorrow we'll go for uh, another two options okay shall i close or you have any doubts yes sir the non the non data it sir fillet kate hmm model next sir model will not fillet kate ite e portion ah इंटरसेन बरतोलोट स्वल्प कांटीजेन्सि बर्तव इंटीजेन्सि बंद स्वल्प ना केर तो सर आता ओके हूँ सीरियसल नोड़ी अस्ट मंदा कई मंदिर आर मंदिर अस्ट जॉन आती नम बेरे के सैडेट नहीं कलती रहा ना एवरी डे टू हवर्स टू टू एंड हाफ हवर्स रेडी आगे निम्न क्लास हो यूटिले तैयार आयोनोग्राफी क्लास अल नहीं सीरियस हद्न इप जन कुंत्र नमगू अब स्वल्प अन्सत नहीं बर ई जन आर जन यूज नोड्र ना दिन टाइम तक डिसकस ग्रूपल और मिनिमम सर इपत जन आती अंत इंटरेस्ट्रूपल